Okay, everybody, I promised you that I would be wearing this lovely, beautiful linen dress <laughs> that I found. I don't know what I was thinking buying it. I, it. It may be a wardrobe staple or it may be a costume or it may get ripped into shreds and used for other purposes. We will see. I know I look a little bit crazy right now. I can't tell if I like am really digging it or if I look absolutely horrendous. Let me know in the comments below. I feel like a potato sack. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a little bit more footage. I know I promised y'all some last week, finding some of these items, other items that I did not wind up picking up. Let me know if there's anything in here that you see, that you find interesting, that I didn't pick up, and that you would have. So, okay, here's my thought. This is totally a dream at this point. Okay, this is not reality for me. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I would love to be able to set up like a pop-up vintage shop at some point in the next few years. And with that, I would like to be able to collect some pieces that I don't necessarily need in my home, like items that are like more duplicates. I'm looking to purchase items that are really good quality items that I don't necessarily need that I might be able to sell in a shop at some point. This is like big picture. And I probably shouldn't even be saying this on the internet because it's a little bit embarrassing. And Lord knows it'll probably be five years before anything like this picks up, if it picks up, or it could be six months. I have no idea. Life is just crazy and busy. And sometimes I've got time for things and sometimes I don't. So some of these items, I see them and I'm like, oh, you know, I may not have a, a need for that item, but especially at the Goodwill outlet, because I know that this stuff is just going to a landfill. Sometimes I feel the need to pick it up and be like, you know what? I may not need this, but this is a beautiful quality item. And I bet you that there's somebody out here that if they saw it, they would want it. There were some items like that that I picked up, but let's get started shopping. And then I will get started on the second half of our fall haul, y'all. Okay, I want to catch some, some things around. Yeah. Ooh, that's cool. Let me see. I love it. Tell me about Golden. it. And come to this. Ooh, yeah. Because I'm really sure that that has me this yogurt with it. And it goes like that, but I don't know why. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna start us off with these beautiful bowls. Okay, so these were actually $20 a piece. And so I did leave them behind because I honestly don't have a need for them. And they were so pricey, but oh my goodness, I had to show you guys because they were so beautiful. And what is this called? Is this a bean pot? And if so, what do you do with a bean pot? <laughs> and what is this for? Is this for washing clothes? Somebody let me know in the comments. I actually really like this coffee mug. I went back a couple weeks later and it was still there, but y'all know I just don't need any more coffee mugs, especially those that are not handmade. Oh my goodness, I loved this bread box. I probably should have picked it up. I think it was only $5.99. But truthfully, I got a beautiful antique bread box this past summer that's in my kitchen. And I will show you guys that when I do my little home tour and this one does not compare. I also loved this little Santa. I'm not huge into stuffed animals or stuffed Santas, but if I was, I would have picked this one. I also had this lampshade in my cart for a long time. Um, I think it was six something. I know it sounds crazy because it was actually in really good shape, but I wound up leaving it behind. I did, however, get this little table and you guys, it was $1.99. It's in terrible shape, but truthfully, I got it to put between our Cracker Barrel rocking chairs that we have on our front porch. And I wasn't sure if it would be damaged by the elements. And so I just wanted to start off with a $2 table to see how it did out there. 
I should have picked up this rack. I meant to, I think it was $7.99, but these racks are so much sturdier than the cheapo ones that you can buy at Walmart or Target or Amazon today. And I have another one that's just like it that I use for our garage sale and I love it. These stone pieces should have gotten a little bit more airtime, but they were so heavy, I could hardly pick them up. I love the glazing on this little blue piece. Sorry about the baby toes on this pan. <laughs> I love the little brass part of this piece, but honestly, I didn't really know what it was for. This linen was made out of such nice, thick cotton. I couldn't believe I found these little brass pieces. Who would leave these behind? I probably should have picked up this pan. It wasn't like the cleanest, but now that I'm thinking about it, I need another cookie tray. Also, this toolbox was so terrifying, but honestly, it'd probably be kind of valuable if you cleaned it up. I actually had this wall hanging in my cart for a really long time. The quality of it was amazing, but it, it's interesting because I felt like it had the quality of a vintage piece, but the colors of a modern piece. And so I kind of put it back because it was giving me a little bit more modern feel. Also this hearth and hand duvet cover I thought was so adorable. And I also had it in my cart for a while, but I did wind up putting it back just because I feel like we've got these sweet little vintage quilts on there. And I do prefer those over the hearth and hand look. I love these little pottery pieces. That one would have been cool if it didn't have all the rocks in it. <laughs> I love these little, almost like Japanese looking pieces. There's a whole tea set in here that I wanted you guys to be able to peek at. All right, the first item that I picked up, oh my gosh, there's a tiny, there's two tiny little kids on scooters outside of our house. How are those kids even standing up, let alone on scooters? They're so tiny people. We live in a very sweet neighborhood with lots of little kids. It's awesome. First things first, I found these at the Goodwill. These were $3.99 and they are bookends. So I've actually got another bookend that looks very similar to these. It's not a ship, but it's the same kind of, I bet you it's the same company that makes it. They look very similar. And so we've got a big bookshelf in Ivy's room, which is also like our guest room where we keep all of Josh and my books and then all of the kids books as well. Josh and my books, we can keep pretty organized, but the kids books are an absolute disaster. And so we need things like this to keep things from falling over on themselves all the time. So we found these for $3.99 and I felt like that was a pretty good deal for, for a couple of bookends, you know? Next, I found this cute little box. It's just like a, I don't know what you wanna call it, like a cardboard box, paper box something like this, like an organizational box that you would find at like Hobby Lobby or something. But I just thought it was really cute and classic. I love this pattern. I'm not always crazy about red, but when it's done very subtly like this, I will totally pick it up. It has this nice lid on it. And inside I found this sweet little linen. I picked this up because the girls have an Ikea table it's like that like classic Ikea kids table that you see everywhere. And it's not bad. I bought it when Rosie was born because it was very neutral. But when Rosie was first born, my style 
it's just changed since then. Back then I had more of like a mid-century modern slash like 70s feel and so some of the newer more modern items like that kind of Scandinavian look they fit in nicely with the mid-century modern look well now that we're really going more like traditional classic like Victorian farmhouse I don't necessarily feel like this kind of like Scandinavian modern stuff look as good and so we're gonna cover it up with a tablecloth to me it's the perfect size to be able to cover up that table and just make it look a little bit more cohesive with the look of the whole house. So I'm excited about that and I hope the girls like it. Next, I did find this little, what do you call this? And it's not an egg timer, right? It's like a minute timer. And you know what? We love to play games in our family, especially when like Josh's family is in town and everything. And granted, this doesn't match any of the games that we have. Everything we have is like obviously very new and modern, but I figure if you can have a fun timer piece, then why not have a fun timer piece? Our goal is to just gradually replace all of the new items in our house with old items. And therefore, I, if I can find something like this to replace a cheap little plastic minute timer, then why not? In here, I've been looking for these for such a long time. They're new, old <laughs> cups, like measuring cups. The ones that we have are broken and busted, literally both sets that we have. We've got a set of hearth and hand ones that are literally cracked in half, and then we have a set of like cheap plastic Target dollar aisle set that the handles are broken off of them because they're plastic. Well, I loved that these were that copper. They're so pretty. There's a cup, half cup, and a third cup. There's not a fourth cup, but you know, worst case scenario, you can just measure half of a half a cup or a little bit less than a third. Now in cooking, it doesn't really matter all that much, right? Everything kind of turns out anyway. Next, I found a couple of bottle openers. I probably will wind up keeping this one? I don't even know. Okay, so these were a couple of my questionable things. This, I'm pretty sure, is wrestlers, right? Wrestlers? <laughs> Somebody let me know if you know what this is. And then this one is like a barking dog. But I'm pretty sure, I know that for a fact that this is a bottle opener. And I think that this is one too, right? You would just put like the bottom of his jaw under the cap of the beer or whatever and just do that right anyway these are both real like solid brass and so i did not want to let these go to waste so i picked these up i picked up this box i actually picked it to hold some of the items that i had and then i forgot that it was in my cart this was at the goodwill outlet so it doesn't weigh that much it doesn't really matter but you know maybe i could use it for something organizational in the bathroom i found this really pretty wallet there this is very light but it's just a nice pretty leather wallet with a deer what do you call this it's not engraved is it embossed what do you call it when you press things into leather but I just thought it was really pretty. And again, I would just hate to see this go into the landfill. And so I don't know if I necessarily have a need for a wallet, but I would love to see if I can find somebody else out there that would love something like this. I found some hooks. I know that this is nothing special, but for Christmas time and stuff, a lot of times if we're hanging lights and whatnot, I like to be able to have small hooks that you can't see very well up in the ceiling. And so these just look like nice quality. And that's it. That's that's why I bought them. All right, my only large item of the day, I did wind up finding this basket. It is close to my style. I wouldn't say it's 100% my style. I'm not really sure about the color or even the shape of it, but we did buy some faux olive trees for both Rosie and Ruby's room. And the bottoms of them are just that like small kind of weighted base that like kind of looks like dirt, but it's just like a little black thing. Anyway, I thought that putting those in a nice big basket like this will make them a little bit more believable. You know, we like to have a lot of real plants in our house, but there are a few faux ones and I don't want the faux ones to stand out as so obvious that they're faux. Okay, and last, I hit the jackpot on vintage books. Again, these were at the Goodwill outlet, so they were three for a dollar, which is not bad. Um, I found this pretty green one. It says EF on the front. Let's see what that means. Nobody's in Town by Edna Ferber. As you can see, it's just got that really pretty linen. And then look at these pages. Aren't those beautiful? Anyway, I'm really excited to decorate with this book. There was a couple of these really old ones. This one is Rumpin Calories by Booth Tarkington. Let's see what the year is on these. Okay, so this one is 1937. So I guess it's not necessarily antique yet, 
this green one is 1939. Again, another vintage book. This one is yellow and I don't have a whole lot of yellow things. And so that's what caught my eye about this one. This yellow stub is from 1929. I found another kind of like classic brown. This one is the History of the Christian Church. And I just thought it was lovely from 1933. I just thought that these all together, I mean, look at that. What a nice, beautiful snack. I found the Salvation Army songbook. It has some writing on the inside and a, a duck. <laughs> I don't know if this one has a date in it because it looks like a lot of the front pages have actually fallen out. I've looked kind of through and I, I didn't see any dates, but I thought I would just kind of give you guys a little look at the front. I do like this red. I think that that would be really good for like Christmas time. Lastly, I do have these Harvard classics. Okay, so there was actually a library of probably 20 of these books and I picked them all up at one point because I was like, oh, they're so cool. They're, the contents of them are so, nice and these are probably the oldest yeah 1910 it's so funny because these are probably 20 years older than all of the other books that i picked up but they are just like in perfect condition because i don't need a library of 20 harvard classics books in my house i did just pick up three so i picked up the odyssey by homer elizabethan drama and voyages and travels so there were so many options and it was hard to pare it down to just three but Y'all, I gotta be realistic with what I'm actually gonna use in my house. But now that I think of it, if I was going to do like a pop-up shop, I probably should have bought all of those because as you can see, they were like absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, guys. And I almost forgot one last thing. I had this over by our door, just kind of as decor, and I forgot to bring it over with the rest of our stuff. But I did get this tall galvanized metal thing bucket can. <laughs> this was $3.99 and it came with the bucket and all of this greenery, if you want to call it that. Basically, I have, I have mixed feelings about this. It's got some little pumpkin-y things in here, as you can see. It's got, I don't know what you want to call this, like a little honeycomb type looking thing. Some dried greenery and some sticks. <laughs> Some of this is faux, some of it is real, but it's kind of a real hot mess at this point. I like this bucket a lot and I like these, but I feel like this is not enough to fill the bucket. You know, or like it also, I don't know, maybe it just needs to be brought up. I don't know. I feel like this all has so much potential, but I need you guys' help to figure out what I need to do with it. So if you have an idea, please leave me a comment below because this is a hot mess right now, but I feel like it could be cute, right? I don't know, we'll see. It's cute. <laughs> okay, so I'm calling it. That was a huge thrift haul, y'all. Thank you so much for sticking with me and looking at all this stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited to decorate for fall. I've got a couple of plans, but I'm gonna do a fall decorating video for you guys as soon as I can. I'm gonna see if I can try to get my house tour done first. Oh my gosh. Even thinking about doing that, there's so many aspects of our house that are like not finished, but maybe I should just do it just to, just to get it out there. And maybe I'll do it again in like a year or two where it's like looking a little bit better. You know what I mean? Happy autumn. I hope it's starting to feel like fall where you're at. It is definitely feeling like it here. We've got all the windows open. We've been doing a fire pit a couple times at night. This is my favorite time of year. We've got some friends and family coming to visit us. We are so excited to be able to host them in the most beautiful time of year in Nebraska. All right, y'all, enjoy your hay rack rides and your pumpkin picking and all that good stuff. And we will see you next week. Bye.